All right, started this in portrait mode and then remembered that uh, it is a sin to film in portrait mode. So we're back to landscape, but uh, we've got our SPIM 08 HP battery cells. Um, they come with these temperature sensors, got some wires poking out the sides. Um, see right there, it's a hot glued. So I'm pulling those off. They come with duct tape over the cells. Um, you can fit three and a half inch bars here. It's closer to 3.7 uh, between the plastic tabs here. These are 10 30 seconds screws. Um, I think it's like eight and a half by five and five eighths by three quarters. They weigh about 1.8 pounds. Um, so according to the website, they do about 800 amps for a burst discharge each. You can split the cells in half. Got the little bars there. They're like three eighths of an inch thick. Stock bolts are like half an inch, maybe. Um, so if you want to run the bars that they sell on battery hookup, you can, uh, it's like two pieces. It's a steel and a copper plate together. Together, it's an eighth of an inch. So not great for high power, but if you're only doing a 48, 48 amp hour bank and you're not pulling a lot off of it, it should be fine. But if you have a large sustained power drain, if you're doing you know a bigger car audio system, um, you definitely want to get some bigger bars. Uh, Jim's Machine Works just started selling bars. Um, so that's cool. Um, uh, yeah, what else? Oh, there's plastic pins, little alignment pins in the corners. Um, I've had a lot of them that were bent or deformed in some way um, or broken off in the, the holes, like the pin broke off in the hole. So as I'm going, I have to check for that. Um, so if the, if the batteries are not interlocking, if the individual cells don't lock together, it's probably why. Um, so you gotta, I'm using my 3D printer, little side cutter deals, clipping those off. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was surprised at how much these weighed. Um, I thought they didn't weigh this much. I didn't, I don't know, I was expecting something different, but they are about 1.8 pounds. So uh, I'm doing a 96 amp hour bank. So if you're doing that, you can expect the ballpark of a 50 pound battery. Um, Yep, we got a pin in the hole, so this won't slot together. Yep, pulled it out. Oh, both of them have it. The problem with this is once they're stuck down in the container, it's hard to... Um, Once they're stuck down into there and you have to dig it out, it's it's pretty difficult. So it's probably easier to just uh, snip the pin off, the one that's gonna go on top of it. That's gone forever. And pop them into place, just like that. And just keep going one at a time. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon, just processing these. And uh, we're gonna top balance. So these are uh, a 4S configuration. So um, I've been checking them as I go and they've all been like 3.6 to 3.7. And um, I'll charge them to about 3.8. 
because that will give me I did the math. If I charge them all to 3.8, that'll be about 15.2 volts, and they'll probably hold that. Um, I'll leave them uh, in parallel, so I'll have all the positives connected, and then separately, all the negatives connected. And that will, um, that will get them all equalized before I build it. Um, it'll probably sit together like that for maybe a week before I get my bars done. Um, I'm doing that all myself. And this hot glue really doesn't want to come off. Um, anyway, uh, I'm picking off the thermal adhesive stuff because it is kind of sharp and I don't want it to puncture the cells. Um, there was a couple that I couldn't get it all off. I was not comfortable scraping the, the outer layer of the cell to get the adhesive stuff off. So I got most of it chipped off and then I just stuck a piece of electrical tape over it to insulate it. And, uh, yeah, it's all I've been doing for a little bit here since these arrived. just plugging away. Check the voltages here. Little Harbor Freight multimeter. It's doing me well. Except for this one, maybe. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 3.65. I got very nervous. That said zero for a second. Second one down. 3.65. 3 3.6, 4, 3.6, 4, 6, 4, 4, 4, 3.72, 7, 1, 7, 1, and 7, 1. So that's about the voltage range. They're all close enough. Um, they'll balance each other out when they're in parallel. I'll top balance them to about 3.8. Let them sit for a while until I get my bars done. And then we'll throw it in the car. Oh, I bought these. I did not know you can buy butt connectors that are 1-aught, 2-aught, 4-aught, whatever. Um, cause I have to lengthen my battery cables and I didn't want to run all new, you know, 20 foot long runs if I already had a 15 foot run. So I'll be extending those a little bit and, you know, crimping really well. And then, uh, I might solder in addition to crimping, uh, just for to stay safe. Um, cause I am running my battery from the trunk. So front battery will be deleted. Car will be running, put a potentiometer on the alternator and slowly turn up the voltage. So I uh, don't want to do it too much. Um, the trick will be with the battery cells as they're charging, they're not going to show you your uh, alternator output if you've got your voltmeter on the cell. So that's something I've noticed is some people put a voltmeter on their alternator to see what they're charging at. They'll put a voltmeter on their bank to see what their bank is sitting at. And then, oh, we might have some electrical tape here. Oh, I got it. Perfect. Um, put a voltmeter on their battery to see their battery voltage, state of charge and everything. I'll put one on their alt to see what they're charging at, and then I'll put one at the amplifier to see what, you know, if it's dropping between the alternator and the battery. Um, if you're worried about your 
voltage at the amp, then putting it at the amp would be the best. If you're worried your alternator isn't charging, put one at the alt. Kind of whatever works for your application. Um, got another pin that's snapped off here. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to keep doing this. And then once, once uh, we're ready to get the bars put together, I'll make another video of assembling this. And uh, we're about, I think we're, are we exactly half? Yep, we're halfway through. There's the thing. Let me measure this quick, see how tall we are. Oh. Some of these are missing the pins, so we're we're about nine and a quarter. So eighteen and a half inches for the ninety-six amp hour bank. Put some uh, end bars on it, and. Hopefully will be under 20 inches. You get a little case for it. And uh, it'll be running the car. 96 amp hours of SPIM 08 HP at goal would be 15.4. Um, curious to see how long it'll take to charge these up. Um, depending on how uh, how dead they are, and I have a 340 amp alternator. If you haven't seen my video overview of my car, I have that on my channel. Um, I think it's a short, actually. It's a YouTube short that I made, rushing and battling the wind, but. Uh, Yeah, so you can check that out. All NVX. Goal is to do a 150 on under 3,000 watts and hopefully under 40 hertz. Um, I'm getting new subs in a couple weeks. These are all 3.65 to 3.72. So, so we're good. But yeah, we'll have new subs. Uh, so it's two 12s. I'll probably extend the port again. I have an arrow port, eight inch arrow port. So last time I put it on the meter at a friend's house, it wasn't an official score, but on the meter we did, um, These have different uh, different screws. It's close, but they're a different color. It's like a zinc instead of a raw. Interesting. Anyway, I did a. I have the 5,000 watt amp wired to one ohm on the 212s, rising to about three ohms, and on a burp on the glass sealed at 37 Hertz, we did a 147.7. So I'm thinking if we raise tuning just barely to, uh, oh my gosh, we raise tuning just a little bit to about 40 Hertz. See how the new subs react. Um, I think we'll get a 50, maybe not sealed, in the kick for sure. We might have a 50 right now in the kick. Um, I, just, I just haven't uh, tested that far yet. So hopefully, hopefully I'll have a meter of my own soon and we can do this testing on our own and uh, we'll just be getting ready for the season coming up. So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated as I go and thanks for watching.